Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, how to handle the dynamically changing IDs in automation, that is Selenium automation. Let me answer. First of all, when your application has dynamically changing IDs for some elements, then locating such kind of elements with the help of ID will become, or ID locator will become difficult. In such cases, we have to go for XPath expressions because in XPath expressions, we have a function known as contains function using which, okay, using this contains function, we can handle this dynamically changing IDs, okay? We have other functions also in XPath, but uh, only one main function that we can use in XPath expressions to handle any type of dynamically changing IDs is contains or we can also go with starts with function, but uh, comparing with the starts with function, contains function is more better, okay? Because uh, this dynamic part, changing part of the IDs can be in the beginning or in the middle or at the end, no matter what you can use contains function, but with starts with the constant part should be in the beginning and dynamic changing part of that value of the ID should be at the end. So to avoid such restrictions, we can directly go and use contains because it doesn't matter where you are uh, con uh, changing dynamically changing a value text of that ID is there in the beginning of the value of that ID attribute or in the middle or in the end doesn't matter with contains function. Okay. So I use contains function. Okay. So I'll just open this uh, one of the application where I can demonstrate this. I'll uh, open this in uh, here. I'll just open this facebook.com and I would like to locate this login button. I'll inspect this login button. When I have inspected this login button, when I inspected this, uh, sorry, let me inspect it again. When I inspected this login button, this is a Google Chrome DevTools coming up here. This HTML code, as you can see, there is an ID, uh, but this ID values uh, will keep on changing. Okay, I'll copy the value for now and create an XPath expression. I'll show you double slash uh, button at the rate ID is equal to, I'll give the ID attribute value and it will locate the login button, okay? Now, if I simply refresh the page, the ID attribute value will change. And because of which the originally created uh, XPath expression, this particular XPath expression is not going to locate the login button anymore. Why? Because earlier 9R was there in the end. Now you got K forward slash. Again, refresh, you'll get one more ID generated. This ID is called as dynamically changing ID. Okay, dynamically changing ID. So the changing part is at the end, no matter whether the changing part is uh, beginning, middle, end, you can simply use a uh, contains function in this XPath expression. Instead of writing like this, you can say contains function. You can mention this contains function inside square brackets and uh, cut this ID and put it as a first argument of this contains function, put a comma and uh, take the value and put it as a second part of this uh, contains function and remove this equal symbol. And in this, only put the constant part, whatever the dynamic changing values there, remove that from this. And uh, this press enter, you see you're able to locate. Now refresh any number of times, doesn't matter if the ID changes, still it will be located, okay? This time 9F came, but still this login button will be located. So hope guys, you understood how to use contains function in XPath and uh, with the help of the contains function in XPath, how to handle the dynamically changing IDs in Selenium automation. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.